This is a new recording. It was recently brought to the attention of the editorial department by the Mr. Arthur R. Shoemaker of Hominy, also a member of the Oklahoma Historical Society, that the construction of the Keystone Dam on the Arkansas River near the town of Keystone, Oklahoma, will completely inundate the Keystone Town Site and the surrounding area in which there are many points of historic interest. As a result of further correspondence on this, Mr. and Mrs. Adrian Swift, who have lived in Keystone for 30 years, arranged a meeting in their home where a number of old timers gathered to make a tape recording of their memories to be preserved for this history. The meeting was held in Keystone on Saturday afternoon, March 9, 1957, and the following recording made with Mr. Swift serving as moderator. Your name. Reed Axley. And the next uh, member of our of our discussion group today for the historical events of Keystone will be Mark Stoneman and Calvin Hubbard. T.W. Duff. Selena O'Keefe. Now let's see if that come in all right. No. Now, Jack, following uh, the statements that we have had here, uh, we have our group lined up, that is, to discuss the historical background of Keystone. We have here today, from the Oklahoma Historical Society, two representatives uh, who has gone to a lot of trouble to drive up here to help make the recording and to write the history of this community. Uh, Miss Muriel Wright and Miss Catherine Ringland. And uh, on my left, as we have them seated, are some of our so-called native people, old neighbors and friends of mine, of course. Mr. Reed Ackley, Mr. Art Stoneman, Mr. Cal Hubbard, Mr. Tommy Duff, and Miss Selena O'Keefe, who is the sister of Mr. Duff. The purpose of this uh, recording and uh, the purpose of making the note on the, for the historical background uh, relates, of course, to the construction of the Keystone Dam. The Congress has appropriated the first money for the construction and it is the clearing of the dam site is actually underway as of this date. Uh, some property appraisals have been made as of March 1957, and according to the plans of the engineers, the construction will be underway by uh, July or perhaps August of this year. Now, we would like to try to establish as authentically as possible the beginning of the town, the establishment of the first post office, the first stage line, and the, uh, the first uh, crossing of the Cimarron on the ferry boat and such things as that. So let's make it as informal as we possibly can and step over here to uh, Mrs. O'Keefe and her brother Thomas. Uh, I see that they were discussing the pictures of an old schoolhouse uh, and the enrollment there. Mrs. O'Keefe, uh, could you and Tommy relate uh, uh, some of the people that you recognize in the picture and give the date of it. Uh, Mr. Hubbard. I think this was about uh, when I was uh, eight or nine years old when this when this picture was taken, and it, we it was an old log schoolhouse. Uh, on uh, what we call the Dry Lake School across the river in old Appalachia. And um, I believe I can name practically all the uh, uh, students that were in this group. Uh, Armina Marshall, uh, Bertha Steptoe, Myrtle Steptoe, Lauren Steptoe, Florence Pogue, Archie Duck, Fred Duck, Grace O'Brien, Tommy 
and Durham. Porter, uh, Francis Zickasus, Zeta Zickasus, Nora Van Pelt, Harrison Van Pelt, Arthur Duck, to uh, Denver Adrian, Harley Bean, and Harrison Van Pelt. Well, that's very good. Is that all of them? That was all that was in our school group at that time. And well, our teacher's name was Miss Brooks. And that was about what year, Ms. O'Keefe? Well, Do you remember, Tommy, what uh, year the school was first established? The eighth from, from your age, if you will. Well, do you recall who the first teacher was? Um, now, first, the first teacher at Little Dry Lake was Miss Van Pelt. Well, uh, is this the same school that Nick Sikafoos taught school in? Charlie Zickfuss. I have a, a picture of Charlie Zickfuss's school the next year following this one. Well, wasn't Nick Zickfuss a teacher too at no, one time? No. Well, I'm all mixed up in that. No, it's Charlie, his <coughs> uncle. All right, now we have the establishment of the, what you call, the Dry Lake School. Dry Lake School. Uh, be beginning about the year of 1900 and what? You, you have a 